Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to discuss on the nature of the roots of a quadratic function. The quantity b squared minus 4ac that appears under the radical sign in the quadratic formula is called the discriminant. This value can be used to describe the nature of the zeros of a quadratic equation. So we have here number 1. When b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the zeros are real numbers and are equal. So we have here an example. Describe the roots or zeros of x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. So we're going to find here the values of a, b, and c. So a here is equal to 1. Then b is equal to negative 6. And c here is equal to 9. Then using the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So b squared minus 4ac. We'll just substitute the values of a, b, and c in here. So we're going to have b squared, so we're going to have negative 6 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times 1 times c is 9. Then negative 6 squared, that will be 36. Then 4 times 1 times 9, that will be also 36 so minus 36. 36 minus 36 equals 0. So the value of the discriminant here is 0. So it means that the zeros here are real numbers and are equal. So you can check that one using any methods in finding the zeros of this equation here, x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Number 2. When b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the zeros are rational numbers but are not equal. So example, determine the nature of the roots or zeros of x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. So a here is equal to 1. Then b, the numerical coefficient of x is 7. And c here, the constant term, is equal to 10. So discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So what we're going to do here is we're going to substitute the values of a, b, and c in here. So we're going to have b is 7, so we're going to have 7 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times 1. Then times the constant term c is 10. 7 squared is 49. Then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times, neg times 10 it will be negative 40. Then 49 minus 40, the answer here will be 9. So 9 is a perfect square and is also greater than 0. So we can say that the nature of the roots of x squared plus 7x plus 10 are rational numbers but are not equal. If we're going to check this one using factoring, so x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0, that, just, that will be equal to, by factoring, that will be x plus 5, and x times x plus 2 was 0. Then we're going to have your x equals negative 5 and in here x equals negative 2. So the zeros here are rational numbers but are not equal. So negative 5 
and negative 2. Number 3. When b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, but not a perfect square, then the zeros are irrational numbers and are not equal. So example, describe the nature of the roots of x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 0. So a here, the numerical coefficient of x squared is 1. b, the numerical coefficient of x is 6. And c here, the constant term is 3. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So we're going to have here 6 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times 1 times c is 3. So times 3. Then 6 squared is 36. Then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 3. That will be negative 12. So 36 minus 12 is equal to 24. So this is greater than 0, but it's not a perfect square. Therefore, the zeros are irrational numbers and are not equal. Number 4, when b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then the equation has no real roots. Example, determine the nature of the roots of x squared plus 4x plus 6 equals 0. So a here is equal to 1, then b is equal to 4, and c here is equal to 6. So using the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, this will be equal to 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times 1 then times c which is 6 then 4 squared is 16 then this will be minus 4 times 1 times 6 is 24 so 16 minus 24 that will be negative 8 so this one is negative, meaning which is less than zero. So the equation here has no real roots. No real roots or zeros. So this means that the zeros here are imaginary numbers. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.